Beat Saber is a great game. It is one of the most popular VR games currently available. However, I can say with certainty that I would not have made over 200 videos on this game if it wasn't for one thing, mods. Mods, in my opinion, are a must have for the game. Whether it's joining the ranked leaderboards, getting access to noodle maps, or simply downloading songs directly in game. This is gonna be an all encapsulating tutorial covering custom songs, mods, downgrading the game, and just Beat Saber Manager. So before I showcase anything, I just wanna say that I use a PC connected headset, the Oculus Rift. If you are on a Quest or any standalone headset, I would recommend going to the description of this video right now and clicking on one of the tutorials I recommend, since they are tailored to standalone modding. I'll be using Beat Saber Manager for everything in this tutorial, since for me it is a one does all solution. Beat Saber Manager also allows you to downgrade your game, which I'll also demo quickly how that works. Lastly, this was recorded on the 24th of February 2024. I am active in my comments section, so if you want any clarification or just need a little bit of help with any of the steps, you can leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you. Okay, now we can begin. To start, we will need to download the latest release of the BS Manager app. You can do this by simply Googling BS Manager releases or by going to the link in the description. I'd recommend Googling it if you are watching this in the future because it might have an update since then. Now that you are on the GitHub page, you want to find the latest release and go to its assets. There are a few options, but you should pick BS Manager Setup.exe and I'll have like a little, it'll have a version number in there but as long as you just pick this one. This is just your classic application installer. Once you have clicked it, the exe will download onto your PC and then you can find it and double click it to run the installer. BS Manager requires that you show that you've actually purchased Beat Saber on either Oculus Store or Steam. For Steam users, BS Manager has two methods of checking that you actually purchased Beat Saber. Option one is going through the Steam Guard QR code on the right. Option two, however, is entering your Steam login info, which for security purposes and as a general rule of thumb, you should not do. However, because I am lazy and BS Manager has a good reputation that I've done my research on, I did the second option. However, you should not trust a random person on the internet's opinion. It's good to do your own research and come to your conclusion on your own, whether it is safe or not. And if you're worried, just don't worry about it. Go through the Steam Guard QR code for zero risk. For Oculus users, BS Manager only provides one option and it is to get authentication directly via the Meta website by retrieving a connection token, which is a lot of mumbo jumbo, but it's it just means that it you go straight through Meta, which ensures reliability and secure access to your account data. After you've signed in and proven that you own the game, it's time to pick a game version. I would recommend 1.28.0, which is the first version under the 2023 tab. This version has most of the common mods while still not being a completely outdated version of the game. This is also the way to roll back to any previous version of the game that I was talking about earlier. I'd recommend running the game through the launcher first, before touching anything else, just to check that the BS Manager is working and everything's fine. So from the launch menu, you have four tabs at the top, some toggle buttons and a launch button. Oculus Mode just boots the game through Oculus instead of SteamVR. First Person Flying Controller, or FPFC, allows you to move in the menu using standard mouse and keyboard controls. Finally, Debug Mode and Advanced Launch, I have no clue what they do. I never use them, so I'm just gonna skip over those two. Going to the Maps tab, you can see the songs you currently have, and by clicking Add, you can browse for songs online and add them. We are finally ready to dig into the mods. Going over to the Mods tab, we have a list of all the mods available for this version of the game. Each one has a description. I won't go over all the mods. Any other mods, you can experiment with them to see what they do, and if you want to remove them, you can just hit the bin icon on the mod. But Autumn! There are some mods which I want, but they don't show up on the mod list. What can I do? Okay, so it's time to teach you about manual installing. Firstly, click on the setting gear in the top right of your screen and select open folder. There is a lot to look at here, and there is a lot to ignore. So I'll just give you a brief tour. 
Firstly, Beatsaber data, then custom levels, will show you your custom songs. You can manually download a song, extract it, and then put it there, and when you open your game, you'll be able to see it. Plugins folder. This has all the mods that you've downloaded. It's also where to put the mods that you want to manually download. For a couple of examples, here are two mods which I use all the time, but they don't actually show up on the mod list. The first one is Tricksaber, and the second one is Hit Score Visualizer. Now I'm going to show you how to do both of them, but let me give you a brief rundown of what Tricksaber is first. If you want to add some flair or show off, Tricksaber is the mod that you see YouTubers use to do saber spins. To install it, simply search for Tricksaber releases and find the latest release. Download the zip, extract it, and then take the .dll file and place it in the plugin folder. Restart the game and it should be installed. Next is Hit Score Visualizer. This is essential for playing ranked. This mod changes the tiny little hard to read and complicated numbers that score each of your swings, like the 115s, and gives you a fully customizable script that changes those little numbers to be exactly how you want them. However, I can't be bothered with doing any of that myself, so I just use Electrostats Configs, which I will put the link in the description. To download it, it is a little bit more involved than the Trick Saber, but it has the same gist. Search for Hitscore Visualizer releases, get the latest zip, and extract it. And this time, you want to take both files and put them in the plugin folder. Now we run the game for two reasons. First, to check that it is in the mods panel and it has installed properly and two, to generate the hit score visualizer folder. And now we want to find that folder that we generated. So we click the gear in the top right, select open folder. Now we want to go to user data. And in here, we will find the hit score visualizer folder with a couple of default files in there. In the description, I will link Electrostats configs, and if you download them, unzip them, and put them in that folder, once you boot up the game again, you can select them, apply them, and you can play any map, and you will actually be able to read the scores and get better. Okay, I believe that's everything. Again, if anyone needs any help, then don't hesitate to leave a comment, and I'll see if I can help out. But other than that, happy modding!